Marvel's Eternals suffers worst box office in MCU history. Hey, I think that's kind of what happens when you kind of stray from the formula. They have a formula that works. They have a formula with their movies that works. And while new things can be fresh and revitalizing and even better, you know, I, I don't think it's exactly bad for movies to put out, for, for movie studios to put out movies that do something different to test the waters, especially if they've got, I guess, maybe the financial clearance to do so. But, uh, like, I, for some reason, I, I can't see that round table of executives in Marvel and Disney or whatever really believing it would be one of their biggest movies of all time or thinking that it was just going to smash box office records. I don't know if they knew that. And, you know, a lot of people are saying it's a bad movie, and I don't think it's a bad movie. I told you guys that I did not like it, and I did not not like it. I'm kind of, like, indifferent. There were some cool parts, and, you know, you know, I, I don't need to watch it again. You know, just like Ant-Man 2. I'll never watch Ant-Man 2 again. I, I didn't enjoy it like that. It was it was okay. I, you know, I, I didn't hate it. You know, people comment, uh, I knew he was going to hate this. I never said I hated it. It's right there. Two and a half out of five woos. I get five points, five stars. If it's in the middle, I'm indifferent. It's it's right there. If I give it a one, one and a half, woo, you know. Um, by the way, this article has, uh, I think this is his face. Had, you know, the cameraman that the Indian brother brought with him. Yo, I, yo he was probably my favorite character in the whole movie besides Icarus. Like, if I was going to, like, I liked Icarus because he reminded me of Superman. Like, I, I think everybody pretty much liked Icarus. Um, what's the brother's name with the uh, inventions? Is it Fastos? I liked, um, I liked how he pinned down Icarus at the end with his technology. I was like, okay. You guys been looking to clip your wings. And I liked, um, I, li I thought it was a deep, Heart when he um, when when he was overtaken with emotion because humans had used his technology to create destruction rather than doing better for themselves. I, I believe that was a very good message. Um, uh, I liked the Flash. I liked her. I did. I liked the Flash. I liked to do to control people's minds. Um, he wanted to end all the retardedness that humans do. The senseless attacking and senseless, you know, war and shit. I really like that, you know. The movie had very interesting aspects to it, but just sitting through it, you knew it wasn't going to be a big Marvel blockbuster, you know. Um, yeah, so anyway, getting on to this Cosmic Book News story. Um... Says things just keep getting worse for Kevin Feige's Eternal movie as it now has suffered the worst box office for a Monday after opening weekend in the entire history of Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, I don't know how important a Monday is because, uh, you know, it's not like I study movie profits like that. But it says here Monday saw Eternals plummet a whopping 73.9%. From Sunday's 16 point, I mean, 16 uh, million to 328,496 to 4,262,085, uh, which is the lowest of any MCU movie, including Ant Man, Incredible Hulk, and it's even lower than Hulk in any of the X Men films. And even Ben Affleck said, <laughs> oh. You know what's funny? You know what? I liked Ant-Man. 
I like the Incredible Hulk. Got them both. Uh, got Ant-Man in 3D. Blu-ray. Bought the Hulk. Um, wait, Incredible Hulk. Wait. Which one's the... Which one's the one... Wait, no. Which one's the one with... Uh, Oh, American History X, Fight Club. I forgot which one. But anyway, I liked his, Incredible Hulk. I was never a fan of the X-Men films, never. They were always okay for me. I went to see them because I'm a comic book fan to get what I could get from them, from the cool, certain cool scenes that I did like. Um, not even X2. People always say, not even X2. Not even X2. The first X-Men movie I ever liked, really liked, was X-Men First Class. And I liked um, Days of Future Past. I like those two. Um, I can't think of anything else right now. But anyway, um, back in 2015, Ant-Man saw 6,403,901,000. Okay, so it's just going through these and theirs. Okay. Um, Hulk and so Hulk and Incredible Hulk. So um, I liked Daredevil. What's funny is it hasn't lasted the test of time for me, though. Um, it's not, <laughs> it's definitely not as good as it was to me when I was younger when it came out. I liked Daredevil. I've heard that there's a director's cut that's better. Like, a lot of people like that one. Someone send me a link on how to get that, please. Because it's very hard to find. I can't find it anywhere to buy it. And I would like to buy it. Because I did like him as it. And maybe I would like this version. Bear in mind those numbers. Uh, for those five films are higher than, uh, higher when inflation is factored in. The only, oh, by the way, yeah, I liked the strong Asian dude. I forgot about that. And he was knocking people the F out. I really liked him. He was one of my favorites. Um, the only Marvel movies that had a lower gross at the box office on their opening Monday are flicks. Such as The Punisher, Punisher Warzone, Blade 2. Really? Blade only movies that have had a lower grosser. So Blade 2? I liked Blade 2. Punisher Warzone, I have to see. I think I've only seen parts of it. Punisher, uh, and, you know. Blade Trinity, uh, I get that. I get that. I'm okay with Blade Trinity. Never saw Elektra. Never saw any of the Ghost Rider movies. In the 2015 Fantastic, yeah. Wait, Fantastic Four, I don't... Put it this way, the one that was the last Fantastic Four, man, you know what I, I can't stand being a comic book fan? Or just a movie fan, period. Nobody goes to a movie not wanting to like it. Who goes to a movie, pays their hard-earned cold cash, and wants to not like it? I want to like every movie that I see. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I wanted to watch, I wanted to like Ghostbusters. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't turn out that way. I loved the trailer. Go find my trailer of me reacting to that. I loved the trailer. It just didn't turn out that way. But it should send, uh, it should be said most of these movies opened in fewer theaters than Eternals. Gotcha. That does make a difference. Turtles has the worst Monday drop in entire history of Marvel movies. My, my, my. Mm. It should be pointed out that the 73.9 drop of Eternals is the worst in the entire history of all Marvel movies for a Monday opening. Comparing Eternals' first Monday to the recent MCU releases of Black Widow, Shang-Chi, also shows no comparison as Black Widow opened his first Monday in July amidst the pandemic to a 7.1 million. And Shang-Chi had the benefit of a September Monday, Labor Day holiday, and that at 19.2 million. Mm. Looks as if Eternals will have the lowest box office of any MCU movie, as currently the lowest is Black Widow at 379.6 million, which we all know is probably affected vastly by, you know, that double release. But uh, at least Black Widow had the benefit of bringing in $60 million from Disney+. Plus. Next is Shang-Chi with $430 million, but at least 
the smaller number of fans that went to see it liked it a lot, as did the critics. The woke media rejected Eternals completely as it has only a 46% Rotten Tomatoes score and MCU low. And the audience score keeps dropping as it is currently at 80%. And Disney wants to put Kevin Feige and Chol Zhao on Star Wars? Good luck is what it says. So... I mean, it is what it is, y'all. Um, I still am a Marvel fan. I am still a superhero fan. Um, they tried something different. That kind of rhyme. Um, and I hope it don't get out of hand, that rhyme. But I hope that they course correct and make hit movies again. That all rhyme, don't hate the player, hate the game. Burn! Post comments down below. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed my take on this news, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers.